April 20, 1972, Lunar Milestone Apollo 16 landed on the moon at 8.23 p.m. U.S. Central Daylight Time, April 21 at 2.23 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time, marking the fifth time humans reached the lunar surface. The mission represented a major step forward in NASA's efforts to expand scientific exploration beyond Earth. Astronauts John W. Young and Charles M. Duke Jr. piloted the lunar module Orion to the Descartes Highlands, a region not previously explored. Thomas K. Mattingly II remained in lunar orbit aboard the command module Casper during the surface operations. The Descartes Highlands were chosen to help scientists understand the moon's volcanic history, differing from prior missions that targeted lunar planes. The mission lasted 11 days, from April 16 to April 27, 1972. Young and Duke spent 71 hours on the lunar surface and conducted three extravehicular activities, totaling over 20 hours. During these EVAs, they collected 94.7 kilograms of lunar samples, including rock and soil specimens. These materials were later analyzed to determine the geological composition of the Descartes region. The mission confirmed that the area was formed by impact processes rather than volcanic activity, contradicting some pre-mission hypotheses. Apollo 16 was the first mission to deploy the far ultraviolet camera spectrograph on the moon. Operated from the lunar surface, this instrument collected astronomical data by observing Earth's upper atmosphere and the universe beyond. It provided valuable observations of Earth's hydrogen corona and other celestial targets, establishing a foundation for future lunar-based astronomy. Additionally, the lunar rover vehicle was used for the second time in lunar exploration, allowing greater mobility across the moon's surface. The rover enabled the astronauts to travel a total distance of over 26 kilometers, extending the range of sample collection and observation. The mission faced technical challenges, including issues with the command module's main engine and malfunctions in the lunar module's navigation system. Despite these problems, all mission objectives were achieved. The crew returned safely to Earth, splashing down in the Pacific Ocean on April 27, 1972. Scientific instruments left on the Moon, including the Apollo Lunar Surface Experiments Package, continued transmitting data after the mission ended. Apollo 16 played a key role in deepening scientific knowledge about the Moon's geology. The data gathered helped refine theories on lunar formation and provided comparative insights into the early history of Earth. The mission also demonstrated the feasibility of extended lunar exploration and the use of mobile equipment in harsh environments. It was the penultimate Apollo moon landing, followed by Apollo 17 in December 1972, which marked the final mission of the program. Apollo 16's achievements reinforced the United States' leadership in space exploration during the Cold War era. The successful execution of complex lunar operations under challenging conditions reflected the maturity of NASA's capabilities. The mission's legacy continues to influence current planning for future lunar exploration, including Artemis missions aimed at returning humans to the moon. For enthusiasts of historical ephemera, Visit history-collectors.com to find collectibles that might complement your collection. You can own a piece of history, 